Welcome back to SciTube HD. The subject of today's video is this auto-tuning induction heater, which I think I've gotten to its final iteration. It seems to work fairly well. It consists of a tag circuit, which is this coil and these caps connected to, to each other in series, a coupling transformer to transfer energy into this tag circuit, water cooling, an oscillator, this is a 555 oscillator, a full bridge of MOSFETs or IGBTs to drive, to drive the um, coupling transformer at close to the resonant frequency of this. And once the voltage gets high enough, for example, if you plug it directly into the mains, the, there's enough energy in this tank to create a feedback loop, which is a voltage that goes through this green wire and takes over the oscillation so the thing self-oscillates. Self so let's watch it in action. So there you go. As you can see, this can produce a lot of heat and it can, can melt steel. Um, and it's a relatively simple circuit. And this is about as best I've got it working so far. And I found the major difference was uh, the number of turns on this coupling transformer. And this is made of ferrite. So you have to experiment with the size and the uh, number of turns of the wire. I've got 14 turns on here right now. And I had 22, and with 22 turns, it didn't work very well. There wasn't much energy transfer. But with 14 turns, there's way better energy transfer into this tank circuit. And as you'll notice, this uh, coupling transformer 
It's made of Let's Wire. This is actually homemade Let's Wire. What Let's Wire is, is each individual strand of wire in here is insulated against the, the adjacent strands. So I've got about a hundred or so strands in here. I made this, this Let's Wire myself, and I've actually got a video out there on how to do this. Each strand is, each individual strand is 30 gauge. And what I did is I just, I wound on 20 to 30 um, uh, loops on there and found very poor energy transfer. Then I start, slowly started unwinding it. So I unwound one leg of it and then the other leg. So each, each of these ends would be the same length. And that's why I've got so much excess on here. So this is 14, which works great. And the other important thing when making this was the um, driver chips the MOSFET or IGB driver chips. So these are the MOSFETs or IGBTs here, and the chips are in here, and I wanted to have enough current, so these are using 14 amp driver chips, and um, they're heat synced, and I've, I've heat synced them to the case. You can see these two bolts here, so they're screwed down and heat sync, so any heat generated um, will be dissipated. Before I had non-heat synced UCC driver chips that didn't work very well, so that's important as well. So there you go, um, work and model, and I'm gonna actually uh, put a link up on how to make this. Uh, one other thing you'll notice when you, if you do make this is these caps, these resonant caps. I have a total of four microfarads of resonant caps here, uh, get hot. And you want the, uh, you want to, um, distribute the uh, amount of energy equally between all the caps. And that's why the lower part of the coil is coming off this end of the cap bank and the upper part of the coil is coming off this end of the cap bank. So they're getting uh, spread out in terms of the way they're being used. To get cooling, because the uh, MOSFETs or IGBTs will, will heat up and to remove the heat from those, we use uh, a cooling block. So you can see a, cool, a cooling block right here, and these are, are screwed down to the uh, cooling block um, with this set up here. And I've got some mica, which is an insulator to insulate the backs of the MOSFETs here. And there's plenty of heat um, thermal paste on there. So this is the kind of thing you want to use for that. And then water is pumped through this coil to keep the, the coil, the copper coil cool with a little, 12 volt pump here. So that's about all there is to it. So there you go. Quick and dirty um, induction heater and uh, you can melt some iron with this, weld and stuff like that. Whoa. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to come back for more videos.